Hi, this is corporate chef Dana Johnson of Ginsburg's Foods. Today I want to talk about how to break down these tomahawk steaks. Copper Creek has access to these beautiful primal cuts and now Ginsburg's Foods is getting them to you. Copper Creek did the hard work. We're simply going to separate each steak. You should get seven steak portions out of each full rib and two ribs per case, totaling 14 servings. Each rib will average three pounds and 2.5 inches, serving two to three people. What you want to do is check here along the vertebrae line. You're going to need to cut in between each one of those. I like to stand it up on end and start cutting halfway down the first steak. I then prefer to lay it flat so that I can see the thickness that I'm cutting because I want to be sure that I have seven equal portions when I'm done. As you cut through, you might catch a little bit of that bone of the vertebrae. Using a cleaver could help to break through that piece of bone. Getting this first one off is the hardest part. Once you get through that one, it's smooth sailing. Just be, again, sure to keep them even cuts. When taking off the end, I want to actually trim up that front side. So I'm just going to take my knife and take just a tiny bit off so that it looks nice and smooth as the other side of the steak does as well. There's the first steak. Now I'm going to move on and do the same thing through each rib. Once you get going, it should be smooth sailing. Again, just make sure to try and keep them about 2.5 inches each so that you have seven equal cuts. When you get to the final rib, again, you will need to go ahead and trim off that end. I don't suggest doing that first because you might cut off more than you need. This is a rare gem, these tomahawk steaks. These come cleaned from Copper Creek. They're cut from the fifth and sixth rib. The skirt steak has been removed. The top portion of the vertebrae has been removed. Membrane has been removed. And also, they go ahead and French cut the bone. This helps in presentation. We'll also keep the bone from browning. How do you cook these, you wonder? Well, there's two ways I would suggest. Either a reverse sear, getting them up to temperature in the oven, and then finishing them on the grill for marks. Or my favorite way to cook it is to do a hard sear on the exterior, preferably in cast iron with butter and a fresh herb of your choice, like rosemary or thyme, and then throwing them into the roasting pan in the oven, getting them up to temperature. I'd like to keep them around 120 degrees maximum, as once you pull it out to rest, it is gonna rise another 10 degrees. If you haven't purchased these Copper Creek Tomahawk steaks, get them now, they're going fast. Imagine the looks on your patrons as one of these walks through your dining room.